Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. What's up, everybody? It's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we've got another LEGO Marvel Avengers video for you. This one happens to be Level 4 Shakespeare in the Park Free Play. That's right, it's collectible time. We're gonna go ahead and grab all 10 mini kits, all three character tokens. Of course, we're gonna freely, freely, freely. We're gonna get the three gold bricks remaining because we already got one for completing the level. And of course, we're gonna grab that red brick, which happens to be the times eight stud multiplier red brick. And uh, the stud, uh, true avenger requirement, stud requirement is uh, pretty easily obtained, especially since we got a times eight going. Speaking of which, we did do a little bit of stud farming. You know, we did that little route we did in the previous level, before level three. Uh, we did a little bit of that in order to get up to the four million mark because we want to go ahead and purchase the next brick, which happens to be that 6x red brick. So, uh, all right, we're going to go ahead and grab the 6x uh, or purchase it now because we grabbed it in the last video. And then in this video, we'll grab the times eight red brick. So... Uh, lots of multiplication going on here. All right, so as we mentioned, the red brick is going to cost us a cool 4 million studs. So we'll go ahead and deplete that from our bank, and now we're broke. Oh, well, that's all right. We're going to go ahead and make sure we activate the red brick by going to our extras menu, and there we go. Turn it on, Zs. And we'll flip back over. Now, For again, for whatever reason, we have to leave the pause menu and then return to get that go to space option to pop back up after turning on our red brickage. I'm not sure why that is, but look at that. We got a uh, times 48. That'll be easy peasy to get that uh, true Avenger from here on out. We won't even have to do anything. All right, we're looking for a giant Loki head and it's labeled Shakespeare in the park. And as promised, there's the collectible list. And luckily for us, we can choose free play. And hey, if you guys already have some mini kits, you can actually skip through some of this level by choosing one of the different three starting points. But regardless, choose your favorite character, choose your point that you need to start with, and let's go ahead and roll out. Now, if you're new to Happy Thumbs videos or maybe just forgot, we do have video quick links down below in the description of this video. So uh, you should be able to go through and click all the character tokens, mini kits, or whichever you're looking for. That being said, let's go ahead and switch to a character that can use a shield access terminal. A little weird that uh, Ultron can do it, but it works. And it opens the door, and we grab the first of ten mini kits. So, oh, yeah. Now we're going to need somebody who flies. Now, I'm sure I could have used Ultra Ultron or Ultimate Ultron, but uh, we switched to Iron Man to give him a little bit of the, the limelight here. And we're going to fly all the way up top. And if you look really carefully, you can actually see... Stan Lee up on this antenna here. So we're going to do our best to go ahead and freely, freely, freely. So we're going to drop down to this lower deck here and we're going to destroy this silver satellite. Now, that's the real reason we switched to Iron Man, if I'm being honest. But uh, hey, we are now that we've destroyed that, we've built the bricks up into a speed boost pad for Quicksilver. So we'll go ahead and switch on over to the quick man and mount our ramp and Booyakashow. Look at that. He flies up there and destroys this black box. And uh, once we get that destroyed, we can actually scan because there's a little bit of an Avenger scan point there showing. And we got to find the four hot spots here. One, two, three, four. And once we get them, we'll actually watch a drone come in and save Mr. Stan. Or in our case, freely, freely, freely. Look at that. If I were that drone, I would have taken him off somewhere else. I don't know why putting him on the roof was the way to go. But anyhow, we tried to cheat the story mode right here. We tried to drop down and grab this flag. As you know, or remember from the story mode, we actually need to pick up this flag and give it to this young lad down below in order to uh, advance one of the story objectives. But we have to speak to him before it'll actually allow us to get to it, which is kind of silly, but oh well. And uh, right down below, we need Miss Black Widow again to go ahead and go stealth and sneak by the security camera. And again, this is all part of the story. And if you missed the little on-screen notification there, keep in mind, we do have some quick links down below that'll speed you on through this. Uh, if I'm being honest, there's probably, I don't know, four to five minutes worth of story play stuff. So if you already know how to do all this, feel free to use those quick links. Obviously, the next one's going to be what? Mini kit number three? Yeah, mini kit number three. I had to look at my notes. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, let's go ahead and hang out and get this done. Now, we've already got one of the three objectives done. The next one's actually going to be related to these three giant towers. Well, that's actually three progressively larger 
towers here, and uh, we get up by double jumping onto each of them, and we get all the way to the top, and we got a scan we can now accomplish, and once we get this done, it's actually going to reveal a couple of targets, so we'll target them. Ready? Ping pong. All right, got them both, and it drops this little, uh, it's like an elevator. It's kind of a weird spot for an elevator, but it's a lift, I guess. And it's got two pressure-sensitive switches on it, so go ahead and hop on it. Your artificially intelligent buddy there will hop on with you, or if you got a, a partner actually using the controller, make sure that you both hop on those switches to rise up to the top. Then uh, use this techno panel. Once you get that techno panel completed, all you have to do is just move the fuses over to the, the spot. It's really simple. Just touch the three fuse blocks, they go into place, and uh, then Buddy Down Below actually shows uh, his face, and it also opens the garage, revealing uh, a street sweeper there. So we'll get to that street sweeper in a second. We do talk to Buddy, and we kind of speed through this because there's no sense in letting him talk all this out. And uh, all right, so there's our flag. Now we could use the lift and go scan and then twirly pull up, or now that it's available to us, we can actually switch to a flying character and just kind of skip all that and speed up the process quite a little, actually. And all right, so we got up there, we got it. We're gonna drop it like it's hot and get down there. And here you go, sir, here's your flag. All right, so two down, one to go. Now we're going to hop in this street sweeper and drive around and clean up this mess. I don't know who dropped all this sludge here, but uh, hopefully they'll be a little bit more respectful after we clean this up. There's nothing worse than cleaning up a mess and returning to find it messed up again. Because didn't we already do this? <laughs> all right, if you're having troubles with these guys, make sure you get the little brushes spinning around right in the middle of the, the piles, and they will quickly go away. And all right, once you get them all, you'll get the third check mark. And then, of course, uh, the camera pans back and we see Captain fly in. And unfortunately, I tried to skip all this and tried to just use Captain America in his shield in that shield switch there. But it doesn't recognize us until we go and actually activate. Uh, well, I guess it's uh, not Captain yet. It's Steve Rogers. My bad. <laughs> all right, so you can see I'm trying to cheat the system right here. And no luck for me will not allow me to target that, but once I walk over a few more steps, we have a little couple of words with uh, Phil Coulson and Mr. Rogers, and then we can turn around and, and look, our characters switch too. All of a sudden we're Bruce Banner now? What the? We were just Mr. Mr. America. And, all right, so we have a few words, and eventually we get control of our characters again, and we can switch on over to Steve Rogers. We can use that shield on that shield switch, and we can ride that downstairs. Now, luckily for us, we don't have to wait like we normally would on the helicarrier. It actually takes us to another scene, and uh, just in case you forgot, we have removed all of the cutscenes, and all of this video is just slightly sped up, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead as the camera pans back. It generally takes us to a scene, but we'll go ahead and skip that and go right to the dirty work of the level, which happens to be fighting Loki. And uh, you guys probably remember this from the movie, huh? He controls a bunch of fools, and, and we got to take them all out. Well, I'm going to give you a little tip here. Although it's very annoying to have these guys chasing after you, um, it is possible to miss some of these things if, if you advance too much of the battle here. So we're going to kind of let these guys be, and we're going to go to the bottom left-hand corner of the area, and you can see there, there were some bikes on a bike rack with a silver chain. So we destroyed that with Iron Man's rockets, and now we've mounted the bike. And uh, look at this. We, uh, we must have had a few adult beverages before getting on this thing because we could not control that thing to save our lives. But goal is to follow the stud trail over to the right-hand side, and it actually takes you right on over to a mini kit. So we'll throw that in the bag and keep on keeping on. Now kind of over in the left um, upper area, it's, it's hard to say upper because there's definitely a further middle back left area, but it's kind of in the lower middle left area, if that makes sense. You can see the mini kit inside that room over there. We're going to smash the carts and rebuild the bricks into a grate, and uh, we'll figure out a character that can slide through it. Unfortunately, I got kicked right in the teeth right there, and it did not accept my character switch, so... I have to go back into the menu again, and instead of going back into Iron Man and switching, I just switched to Rogers. I'm now the Vision, and uh, ooh, I slid through that great, and uh, grabbed that mini kit as well as a few studs, so we'll take it. All right, keeping the Vision, we're going to actually fly right to the middle upper area in the very back, and you're going to see this clock. It kind of reminds me of the old clock tower from Back to the Future. Well, we're going to spin to win with our telekinetic powers, and not only does it puke out a bunch of studs for us, but it also drops a mini kit right below us. So drop down and pick up the mini kit, 
And uh, don't go too far. You're going to want to switch to a character that has the shield access and utilize this terminal on the back to fly the shield flag. And this is actually going to be a two-step process. Once you get the shield flag out, you actually have to switch to a character with Hydra abilities or somebody who's mean and cruel. So in this case, we're going to use Ultimate Ultron. And uh, we'll rescan that same terminal, and it drops a Hydra flag right over the top of our shield, but it also gives us the first of three character tokens. So, woohoo! So it's weird. This level's like really jam packed with collectibles, and then there's like some dead time, and then jam packed with collectibles. It's kind of funny how they did it, but. All right, using Ultimate Ultron, sling, swing over to the far right to this car with some cosmic bricks, use the cosmic brick ability, and rip open that door and grab that mini kit. Now, just over to the left of where that Hydra flag is, and kind of parallel with where we just were getting that last mini kit, there is the Collector. And uh, he wants some rare paintings or something? I, pff, to be honest with you, I follow Dougie's guide. And uh, speaking of which, shout out to Dougie Fresh 613 uh, He does an amazing job putting these guides together for us. And uh, he actually flies through the game while I'm doing the story videos. He takes off and does all the stuff, finds all the mini kits and collectibles and writes them all down for us. And then I use them in these videos. So big shout out to Dougie Fresh. Thank you, sir. Your work is greatly appreciated by me and many others. Now... Now, meanwhile, back to the story here. We have talked to the collector, and he says he wants a hot dog. Turns out he doesn't want a painting at all. He wants a little doggy. So we're going to go over to the right-hand side with a character with mind control. And uh, the vision will do just fine. And basically what you do is you take over that dude, and you cook up a doggy for him. So get along, little doggy, get along. All right, we got uh, a hot dog all cooked up, or a snossage, whichever you want to call it. And uh, we'll go ahead and feed it to the collector. He's pretty excited to get that sausage. But uh, anyhow, moving along, we're going to go ahead and hand it over and collect our red brick, which happens to be the... S oh, it's the 8X. Look at that. The 8X stud multiplier. Woohoo! All right, so... We've got it, we're good to go, and we're gonna move on now. So this is actually another one of those big in-between spots where we actually have a lot of story-based stuff. It's just the Battle of Loki is all it is. No big deal. But uh, if you've already done this, or you know how to do this, or you don't wanna watch this, or whatever the case may be, feel free to use the quick links down below in the video description. Looks like the next one's gonna be mini kit number seven. Um, or I suppose it could be character. No, it is mini kit number seven. All right, look at, looking at the timeline here, definitely is. So uh, otherwise, stick around. We're gonna go ahead and battle Loki. It's just kind of that rule of three. We have to approach him and uh, do a little dancing. You know, a little cha 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 cha. Once we do that, it actually he he clones himself and puts us in this force field. We're, I'm way behind in the commentary, as you can tell. But uh, you take those bad guys out, he then respawns, and we have to repeat the process. you got to get up close and personal. Of course, taking out any of his mind-controlled minions that are coming after you. But uh, really, the goal is just to go after him. And speaking of which, I was curious. This was not listed in the Trophy Achievement Guide stuff for collectibles, so I was curious as to what that gold gave us. And you know me. I like gold! So I melted that, and it gave me some studage. So if you're lacking in that department, feel free to take out that gold statue there. Otherwise, keep on keeping on. And uh, again, we have uh, got up and closed some personal and took off a few hearts, which then he cloned himself and put us in that little force field. Luckily for me, I did a buddy power up there, as you can see, and all it did was one little move, and it took out all of his clones, and back to the third round here. Rule of three, third time's the charm, I guess. We're going to use some rockets. Yeah. Santa Santa Santa. Rocket. Yeah. Some more 80s, more 80s tunes. I'm telling you. You know, it only takes one person to encourage me to do stuff sometimes <laughs> before I get way over the top and uh, a, little, a little excessive there. All right, here's the final stand with Loki. Uh, we're going to walk up and scan right at that Avenger kind of scan bit point. Uh, we used Iron Man. I'm sure the uh, Black Widow would probably get the job done as well. Either way, it reveals the final Loki, and you got to walk up to him and... 
once you get up close, just basically uh, attack him, and it'll cue you to switch characters, and go ahead and give him one last pow in the kissa to take us right into the next section. Again, we have removed some cutscenes, so uh, yeah, you might have to go through that. But All right, as soon as we start the new area where we're, when we're tracking down Thor, there's going to be these five spider webs. And not to confuse you, but that ends up being mini kit number 10. The reason is, is because we collect the remaining four spider webs after we get all of the rest of the collectibles and we'll show you how to do that in just a second here uh, basically we just got to make our way through to this little tree stump here and of course it requires a scan to reveal Thor's hammer and right on cue the hammer gets sucked away and in comes Thor and uh, we have a little quick time event here where we have to rapidly press the button above our character's head in our case it happens to start with square and then eventually I think it, oh, no, I guess it just finishes the square. And then we give him the, the boot into the next area here. And then he gets all fancy pants up top here and starts summoning lightning and all that. But we actually hightail it off to the left. We're not, we're not ready. We're not willing to hang out and get electrified. So we hightail it back up the hill to the left. You might have to smash a, a couple of trees to get your way up the path. There is another spider web, but we will return to that. And uh, all right, I apologize for this next little sequence here because although I knew what needed to be done, it read kind of funny and it's not Doug's fault. It's totally my fault in the way I read this. I was expecting this mushroom to bounce me back up in the air, kind of like a bed. You know, you bounce on a bed, boing, boing, boing. You know, it didn't happen. And so I was kind of convinced that maybe at first that I had the wrong mushroom because it's not bouncing me back up. Now, Part of it might have something to do with the fact, too, that I have a character who kind of flies, and he's got those little jets that kind of propel him, propel him back up. I'll get it right one of these days. And uh, that being said, I, I, that might have been part of my issue. But notice I, I jump on it, and it kind of goes down a little bit. Oh, but then the third time, it does work. So really, all you have to do is just jump on it three times. Once, twice. Three times as nice. And there are three mushrooms total that we have to do this to. Once we get to the third one, it gives us a couple of studs as well as a character token. So this will be the second of three character tokens. And it looks like it happens to be Ares. So we'll take that guy and we'll move back down the hill we came from. And we're going to skip that spider web one more time as we roll by. And at the bottom of the hill, uh, there's another big tree stump or a log there. We're going to go ahead and take that out. And there's now this new look, kind of little lower path to the left here. An, ooh, a diggy spot. So we're going to switch on over to our digger, which happens to be Reptile. You may have another character you prefer to dig with, but uh, we're going to use Reptile because he was quick and easy and part of our preparing for free play video. And now we just got to take this little saw vehicle thingy it's like a tractor with i don't know saw cutters on the front and we just need to do this little race it's pretty simple however i kind of made it more difficult for myself and you may want to address this in a different way all these bricks are floating around out here they need to be built into a chainsaw but because they're floating around, they kind of prevent me from getting there. But look, I still have so much time. And then I, I'm backwards driving, going the wrong way. And I still got 14 seconds left over. So just basically make the little loop there. And uh, booyaka shout, mini kid will be yours. And all right, so now we're going to advance over towards the back middle right area of the newly found area that Thor is electrifying. And you can see, we, we did build up the old chainsaw too, and, and that's a good recommendation because once you do that, Thor focuses on the pad itself, and there's no lightning or anything falling, so I would recommend that. Then head to the back with some telekinetic powers like Scarlet Witch or perhaps the Vision, and go ahead and lift up the little spot. There's like a little plant on the left. Lift it up and grab the mini kit. And then right to the front left of that, there's a cracked wall. Use Thor or somebody big. Hulk will probably get the job done as well. And uh, grab that mini kit. So last but not least, of course, minus the spider webs, we've got one more digging situation here. So we're going to switch back to Reptile. And look at this. He kind of goes under and pops up in this tree stump and grabs the third and final character token, which happened to be Viper. So woohoo! All All right, spider webs. Let's go ahead and knock these guys out. We've already got one. We got it at the beginning of this area. Here's number two. It's uh, probably already been obtained by you. And uh, the third one is back in the corner right by where we had that telekinetic flower as well as just to the right of the cracked wall. 
And then that's going to do it for this area. So then we're going to have to complete some more story bits, which uh, is really simple in our case. Normally, you'd have to switch to Captain America and, you know, reflect the lightning over to that. Now, we're, just, we're already Thor, so we're just going to charge up by the powers of Grayskull. Oh, snap. Pump, 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 pump it up. That's right. We're going to charge up the saw. And now we need to switch on over to Iron Man because apparently he's the only one strong enough to pick it up. I thought Thor was all awesome and mighty. I guess he's not mighty enough. All right, Iron Man it is, and we uh, we actually pick it up. I'm sure it's because of the fact that this is what happens in the movie. It's it's very similar anyways in the movie. He doesn't pick up a chainsaw, but anyhow, there's another quick time event here. You have to rapidly press the button floating over the top of his head, and, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure if I messed it up here or what, but I had to do it twice. So maybe you only have to do it once. Maybe, it's, maybe you have to do it twice. Maybe I got lucky, and you have to do it three times, and somehow I dodged a bullet there. Regardless, as soon as you get up top, though, you can see him floating around, spinning his hammer, threatening us. Kind of reminds me of old Bubbles when he cocks back. I don't know if anybody watched Trailer Park Boys. but All right, on the right-hand side, as soon as you start, there is number four. And on the left-hand side, just up the path, is number five. So go ahead and take both of those out. And then, of course, pat yourselves on the back because that is all of the collectibles for this level. So you have officially completed level four Shakespeare in the Park free play. At least the collectibles. We still got a little bit of a battle with Thor here. We're going to go ahead and finish that out. But you don't have to. You can actually save and quit. You can go to your options menu and save and quit and be done. And it'll save everything and tally everything up at the final totals. Just like we're going to see here in a minute once we complete this mission. Oh, yeah. And, of course, all that's left is, you know, Thor rains down some lightning again, and we get a bunch of buildable bricks that we can build up into this terminal. And, yes, that's right, it's a techno. And uh, I think we'll skip. No. Nope. Look at those look at those speakers blasting out. That's the ultimate techno panel right there. And, of course, it brings in a bunch of pieces. I think it talks to, uh, what's her name? Uh, not Valerie, not Victoria. What is it? Drop it down below. Actually, I'm just baiting you into a comment. I know what it is. Anyhow, uh, we'll go ahead and switch on over to Captain America. It did switch our other character, too. That was really weird. Go back and look at that. We had Iron Man out. It switched our other character to Iron Man and then ended up sucking both of our characters into the cannon. And uh, last but not least, spin to win that shield switch with Captain America's shield and watch us pew out right into the final totals here. So, oh yeah, Shakespeare in the Park free play is now complete. And look at that. Uh, we were broke when we started this level and we've got almost 10 mil ski now. So... Uh, certainly, money will not be a factor from here on out, thanks to our red brick stud multipliers, and we will be able to knock out all of those true Avengers. And there we go. We got Ares. We got Loki suit version. Looks like he's all dressed to impress. And we got Viper as well. So uh, red brick unlocked. We'll make sure to purchase that before starting our next one. And oh, yes, we did freely, freely, freely. And any guesses? Which, uh, my guess is Thor. Is it Thor? I don't remember. I know I already edited it, but I didn't even look it. Oh, it kind of is. It's Thor and Loki, I guess. But, uh, oh, to the, yeah, we get a couple of gold bricks. One for all the mini kits, one for the true Avenger requirement, as well as the one for freeing Mr. Lee. And, oh, this is kind of a bummer deal. Usually it's exciting to be here, but I'm kind of bummed out. This was a fun level. But this is going to wrap it up for LEGO Marvel Avengers Level 4, Shakespeare in the Park Free Blur. And, uh, hey, if you guys have any questions or comments or maybe even a request for us, uh, we encourage you to head on over to any of our social pages. They can be found down below in the video description. Facebook, Twitter, and, of course, YouTube are the most traveled and most frequented for all of us. We do run contests on Facebook, so that's probably our most recommended platform. We understand not everybody's on Facebook, though, so... Uh, if we get a lot of people on Twitter or maybe Instagram, we might run some contests on some other places. Uh, HappyThumbsGaming.com is, of course, available for your viewing pleasure, too. Check us out over there. We've got the Trophy Achievement Guide for this game and many more. So, all right, that's it. Let's wrap it up. As always, until next time. <laughs> See ya.